Well, World Dairy Expo is just a matter of days away in Madison, Wisconsin, October 1st through the 4th, and there is going to be a lot of activity there, kind of a, a hub of the dairy industry each and every year for World Dairy Expo, and Novus is going to have a few of their experts on hand talking to the crowds there at World Dairy Expo with some great presentations and a lot of knowledge to share we're going to learn about a couple of those presentations that are going to be at world dairy expo right now joining us for a conversation dr sarah stocks and dr clemens nash with novus and thank you both for joining us here today on the program hope you're doing well very good thanks yeah thanks for having us well, let's start, Sarah. I know your presentation, Finding the Next Bump in Your Paycheck, that's going to be October 2nd. Give us kind of a, a background on, on the heart of your presentation and, and why producers should be there and what they will find interesting about your presentation. Sure. So we all know that uh, feed prices make up one of the biggest expenses on the dairy farm today. Um, and one of the challenges is how do we control those expenses? So the heart of the presentation that I'm going to be giving is um, a challenge to dairy producers to see where we can find opportunities to dig into their diets and look for um, areas where we can find opportunity to um, increase that uh, income a little bit more and find potential for um, reaching into their checkbooks and, and generating more income. If we can do that by using a series of management techniques, whether that's some um, grouping strategies or um, feed, in, feed additives, like we're going to spend a good portion of the conversation talking about, um, dairy farmers have the opportunity to be a whole lot more successful and profitable on their operations today. Well, I think about it too. Uh, there's been a lot of, uh, some have said like kind of a cost price squeeze in a lot of different sectors in the ag industry right now. So thinking about, you know, finding some ways to get some more profitability to your point there, Sarah. I mean, there's, there's a lot of different things out there to kind of help us navigate some of what we're seeing right now throughout the broader ag economy, right? Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Lots of tools, right? And the, the careful integration of the tools on the operation on the farm are what really makes the um, producer successful. The, every salesperson that walks in the driveway has a, a unique solution that's going to be the next big thing, right? And I think that if you take advantage of all of them, you end up uh, getting lost in the weeds. So it's choosing the right partners to work with you on your farms and what um, in a team approach, which I think is one of the nice things that we have to offer, um, a couple of really great products that are going to bring a lot of value and then a really good team of um, people that are working with us, um, with the cows team to support our products with some management solutions that really bring the whole package to the table to help improve production and profitability and improve animal welfare on farms. And I think that's one of the, the great aspects of this. It's looking at the bigger picture, right? If we identify one individual area, sometimes we miss the, we miss what is really the roadblock for success. Absolutely. Well, I know your presentation will be on October 2nd, 1.30 p.m. Central Time in the Exhibition Hall at World Dairy Expo. And then on the 3rd, Clem, I know your presentation, Sports Cars versus Farm Trucks and Maintaining Cows Like the Top Performers They Are. Uh, this, The title of this sounds very interesting. Give us a background of your presentation that will be on October 3rd. Thanks, Jesse. Uh, yeah, we are a little creative this year with our <laughs> titles and with our content. Um, so uh, as Sarah mentioned, you know, we know that the feed bill is one of the biggest bills on dairies. And we know that uh, there are a lot of products making a lot of claims out there. Um, some of them quite heavily related to animal health, animal production, uh, things like uh, reducing lameness or uh, improving fertility, all of those kinds of things. The challenge is what we've noticed uh, working in the field for this many years is that sometimes no amount of feed or feed additives are going to solve a problem that starts on farm. If the cows are standing in six feet of manure, 
the mineral is not going to solve your foot health problem. Uh, there are bigger issues at hand. It might help it from getting worse, <laughs> but, mm -hmm. but I think uh, that's probably not the bottleneck. Um, and that's where Novus uh, created their on-farm cows program, which is an on-farm evaluation program for um, uh, dairy farm customers of our customers uh, to really identify some of those bottlenecks on farm. And what we've noticed and what we've seen over the course of, you know, the last 50 plus years is that we've done a ton of research in the areas of lameness and nutrition and genetics. And we've seen genetics and genetic potential of animals increase exponentially. We've seen uh, nutrition and nutrition balancing become more and more and more precise. And then we talk about precision dairying on farm and we look at how we're housing and managing cows things haven't changed quite as quickly. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, and uh, yeah, you know, free stalls were invited, invented in 19, the 1950s. Uh, and they look pretty much the same today. And so that's where we're going to spend a lot of the, the talk talking about um, how those improvements in genetics and nutrition have created really high performing animals, but we're not capturing that potential. And in fact, we're, we're creating bigger issues for those animals in things like lameness and repro because we're not managing them like the Ferraris, the, the Camaros that they are. And we're assuming that they're like pickup trucks and they can handle the bumpy roads and it's fine. Uh, it's not fine. And that's why our wheels are falling off the bus here with some of our cows and our, our industry is struggling with things like lameness. Uh, so yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. There's going to be hopefully some discussion. It's not just going to be me talking. It's going to be a lot of question and answer type content if we can manage it depending on the, the venue and I'm hoping to see lots of people there and have a good conversation about it. And it'll be at 11.30 a.m. on Thursday, October 3rd in the atrium at the Exhibition Hall, same place as Sarah's talk on the 2nd. And I just, I, I think about that analogy, you know, uh, treating uh, our, our animals more like Camaros instead of the, the beat up old farm truck. And I just think in general, especially this year with, with so many questions about the overall ag economy and We've, we've had some concerns, you know, with HPAI and dairy, and so, there's so many different things going on. I feel like that's why it's important for folks to visit World Dairy Expo this year and, and really get educated and, and have important conversations like, like the ones that you guys are going to be sharing there at, at Dairy Expo. Would you guys both agree? I mean, I'll, I'll open it up to either one of you. Talk about the importance of getting educated and, and being in attendance this year at World Dairy Expo. Yeah, absolutely. You know, um, one of the challenges I live up in the Northeast and up here, we're dealing with some challenges on our corn silage crop, right? Uh, they're taking it off right now as they speak, their silage trucks running down the road in front of my house. Um, but the yield's going to be pretty poor, right? So the one of the points in my talk is let's look at feed additives that can help um, improve feed efficiency so that we can look at feed inventory management and capturing some solutions on farms that can reduce the need for forages. Um, and I think there's absolutely opportunities to get out in front of our problems instead of playing catch up. And World Dairy Expo is always an opportunity to look at what the latest and greatest is coming out from a science standpoint, from a new technology standpoint. Companies always want to make a big splash at this. It's a, a big stage to be on with, um, with products, with technologies, um, players from all over the world come. So everyone wants to put their best foot forward and, and show off their uh, their next new toy, right? So coming and, and enjoying that and sharing in that with uh, the rest of the dairy population is uh, an exciting thing. Absolutely. Clem, anything you would add to Sarah's points there? Yeah, I mean, agree with everything Sarah mentioned. And um, what I find also quite interesting about World Dairy is that um, it's a great opportunity to learn from peers. So that's at all levels, right? So we as an industry, um, we, we're, we're suppliers. Um, we're, we're able to see what other suppliers are up to and network with other fields, um, for example, on the pharmaceutical side or on the genetic side to really understand how our solutions can work together and how um, aligned we are with our strategies to support farmers. Uh, from the farmer perspective, uh, you've got farmers there from all over the world and all over the country. And even in the US, our country, the country is not small, right? Uh, so having an opportunity to really 
uh, rub elbows and rub shoulders with uh, dairymen from California comparing to what's going on in the Northeast, comparing to what's going on in, in the Central West. I mean, it, it's a great opportunity to learn from each other and also understand um, the different challenges that different industries are experiencing. And perhaps something that we're dealing with in the Northeast relative to our climate is something that ex was experienced in other regions um, and, and to hear from your peers, from other farmers on how they handled it and how they worked through that and who they worked with and what's worked on their farms. It's a great opportunity to learn. Not all of it is gonna be applicable to your own environment, uh, but it's still an opportunity to hear other people's perspectives on things. And I think that's one of the best parts of World Dairy for me is uh, being able to really network and interact with people from all over. Absolutely. Folks can learn more worlddairyexpo.com or if they want to learn more about Novus, I know they can go to novusint.com for more information. Appreciate the time and the discussion, Sarah, Clem, thank you both for being with us here on the program today. And uh, hopefully folks uh, will enjoy your presentations at World Dairy Expo this year. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you. Come see us at our booth. We'll be there.